Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy the Black Team Coder, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the new Roblox Studio Material Manager, and all the other material updates that come in the new Roblox Studio update. Quite juicy stuff, so let's get into it. So guys, if you guys open up Roblox Studio like I have now, you guys might see something new called the Material Manager. If you don't, then you can try adding a new part in and just uh, click on the material drop down here and choosing a new material then it will likely appear so guys what the material manager does is it sort of not entirely replaces the old drop down but it more of gives you a preview of all the materials beforehand so like instead of having to like go here and apply the materials like sandstone to this mud neon metal and then finding it out and then finding out how it works I can choose none for that. You can actually see the preview for it here. And how you use it is, um, you can click on a material like this, and then oh, sorry guys, something's uh the create material variant button's disrupting it. Uh, let me just close that off and reopen it again. Oh, hmm, strange. Okay, guys, that fixed it. So um, now we're back in the basalt material. So now if I click the bucket icon here, the fill bucket, what it looks like, you can actually change the material of any part in your studio like this. So I can, you can simply just click it like that and then there you have changed all well, the part into that material. I'm just going to revert this now and yeah. But what's really cool about it is you can actually add your own material but not really, I'm just going to say a material variant. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this plus icon here. And now I'm going to be creating my own material. So let me just add some texture maps. So guys, I'm adding this, which are just some rocks. And that, and I uh, have this. Now guys, I'm just, I, I'm... I'm just adding images that came in a set, and I'm not a builder, so um, don't blame me if I'm not doing it right. So yeah, now uh, I don't have an image for the roughness, but yeah, I'm going to set this to organic. You have the options between organic and regular, and of course you can set the stats per tile, 1000, whatever you want, really. So I'm going to go for 10, and uh, maybe keep on organic. And I'm gonna click. Oh yeah, yeah. So I have to name it. So I think I'll name it rocks. And its base material will be rock, of course. So now let's save it. Oh shoot, guys. Oh, okay. I think I'll just call it rock then. So now that I have this, I can now click on paint bucket tool, and I can now change it to whatever. Um. Uh, whatever material I want, in this case, the rocks. But guys, there is a problem with it, and that problem being the pictures. Because right now, the material manager just got, got out of its beta stage, and there are quite a lot of bugs being reported. Roblox is actively trying to fix them, and uh, people are reporting them on the dev forum. So guys, if you do try and upload, an image, it will say fail to upload asset, fail to upload asset, and fail to upload asset. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys another update in the new materials update for this Roblox Studio updates. If you guys go over to your material service, you guys, if you guys scroll down, you'll see something new. Use train train to materials. So these are new materials by Roblox that replace the old textures. So for example, I have here my old diamond plate check texture from the original Roblox texture packs. So if I click use 22 materials, it now changes them to the more modern materials. So these include properties such as being more reflective, being more uh, colorful and things like that in general. 
So you guys can also well play around in the terrain area. You know, change the colors of some material. You know, like a uh, grass. You guys can change it to uh, whatever color you want. You know, like this. And now, guys, now that we're done in Roblox Studio, I'm going to be showing you guys the dev farm post. So, guys, let's hop into Google real quick. So, guys, here is the official dev forum post by the Roblox staff. Now, as you guys can see, this was first posted on May 9th, May 10th, maybe. But then it was updated on June 2nd. So, guys, now, basically, I'm going to give you a rundown of the post. It talks about the material manager the material upgrade which is the train train 2 materials which i showed you guys just now and uh yeah general improvements of the material textures very nice images so yeah but guys like i mentioned earlier there are still a lot of bugs so let's hop over into this tab and you guys can see that people have been reporting bugs like even quite recently well, let's even go to the one from three hours ago. And yes, guys, this is a Simo from Jailbreak. Yes, if you guys are wondering. So yeah, see, people have been even uploading bugs about it for a while now. This is because, like I mentioned earlier, it's fairly new, and um, there is a discussion going on on the dev forum about what people think about it. And so far, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on it. People are kind of upset about the new material manager because they don't like that it takes up so much space. Like, most builders think it's a lot easier to just use the drop down feature like this, you know, because you don't have to, you barely have to scroll and you can easily just choose it without it taking up much space. Unlike the material manager over here, which requires a whole lot of space, I'll even have to close my output just to see a lot of the materials. So now let me reopen my output, obviously. And yeah, that is one reason why people don't like it. Another reason is people also don't really like the new textures because you guys can see that it sort of makes them a little weird. Like the concrete just now, in my opinion, it didn't look so nice. Let me just change the concrete back. Okay, so this is what the concrete looks like now. And this is what it looked like back in the old material pack in my opinion this looks a lot better so that's also another reason why people are upset with it they prefer the old textures for example one being let me just uh, get a new part and scale it a bit one being asphalt so let's change this to asphalt real quick uh, uh, mm, asphalt now, the one reason people don't like it is because it's a lot lighter, unlike what asphalt used to look like. And asphalt, you guys let me know, is used in roads. So obviously, it would have to be a darker color. It used to look like this. Yeah, see? See that darker color? And the nice texture there. Now, it looks like this. A lot brighter. A few changes that have come along with the 2022 materials are PBR textures, and you guys might not know what PBR textures are. Basically, that means that textures that do look like they are 3D. You know, 2D images that look like they are 3D. So guys, this is a pretty short video, so comment down below what you guys think about the material manager. And if you guys do have any questions, of course, you can also ask me about them in the comment section below so guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe so uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye